here are four more alcohols for us to practice naming. We're gonna use the same steps and the steps are outlined uh, in this worksheet as well. So the first thing that we want to do with this is find the longest carbon chain that contains the OH group. And so it looks like our longest carbon chain that includes the OH group is right there. We want to number starting at the end closest to the OH group. It doesn't matter if we have other substituents present, we still start numbering at the end closest to the OH group. Locate our other substituents. On this molecule, we have a substituent on carbon number three. So it's on carbon number three and name that substituent. That's a one carbon substituent. So its name is methyl. Remember these, the names of substituents and also the names of parent chains is something that we covered in the first week. So if you're foggy on that, go back to that, find those tables that have the names in them. Go back to those sections and just pull those tables back up and, and reference them as you need to. So now that we have the substituents located and named, now we want to locate the alcohol. The alcohol, OH, is on carbon number two. Now we're going to name the parent chain. It's a five carbon chain, so it's a pentane. But instead of saying pentane, we drop the E and say pentanol. Let's look at the one underneath it. We're finding the longest continuous chain of carbons. We start numbering at the end closest to the OH. So that's going to be the left side and we number across from left to right. Locate your substituent. Your substituent is this guy right here. He's on carbon number three and name that substituent. His name is bromo. Now locate the alcohol. The alcohol is on carbon number two. Name the parent chain. It's a four carbon chain, so it's a butane, but we drop the E and we say butanol to let everybody know that it's an alcohol. Moving on, let's do this cyclic one. We have a six membered ring. That's our parent chain. When we are numbering cyclics, we will put the alcohol on carbon number one. That's gonna be our carbon number one by default. And if you look at this molecule, whether we number clockwise or counterclockwise, our substituent is gonna end up in the same spot. It's gonna end up on carbon number four, whichever way we go. So we can go either way we want. So we've got our carbon chain numbered and now we need to locate our substituent, name our substituent for methyl, locate our alcohol, it's on carbon number one, name the parent chain, this is a cyclo, it has six carbons so it's a hexane, drop the E, change it to all because it's an alcohol, 4-methyl, 1-cyclohexanol. And last but not least, we have, uh, this is our longest continuous chain of carbons. We want to start numbering on the right-hand side because the OH group is on the right-hand side. That's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This molecule has two substituents on it. It has a chlorine on four and a bromine on three. When we're putting them together in the molecule's name, we wanna alphabetize them, not put them in number order. Bromine comes before chlorine in the alphabet, so we'll name that guy first. Bromine is located on carbon number three and its name is bromo. The chlorine is located on carbon number four and its name is chloro. Now we're ready for the alcohol. It's located on carbon number two. That was funny. Now we're ready for the alcohol. Well, all this online learning, I'm totally ready for the alcohol. 
uh, four bromo, three bromo, four chloro. Alcohol is on carbon number two. And now we use the parent chain name. This is a five carbon chain, pentane. But you need to drop the E and replace it with all. So this is three bromo, four, four chloro, pentanol.